Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and lately when I've been doing topics about trying to create awareness on the truth of modern nutritional science, a lot of people get upset, particularly the vegans for some reason. I don't see how less than 1% of the population manages to find all these videos and <laughs> dislike on them and everything else. You guys are like statistically insignificant. I mean, that's cool that you have your beliefs, but you guys have a lot of confirmation bias, and I'm saying that as a former vegan who changed a lot of my stance just based upon looking at research. I was a vegan for a while, and now I do uh, a lower carb, higher meat diet. So when it comes to saturated fat, I'm going to link some resources down below because a lot of people really don't seem to like it when I don't link resources and studies. And actually, a lot of the data on this is old because this is stuff that has been known for a long time in the nutritional science world and even the cardiology world. So I'm going to link some things down below and kind of explain to you guys that there is a very strong correlation between saturated fat intake and elevating good cholesterol or HDL cholesterol. And the, the first link that I put down under there is basically a meta-analysis. And if you don't know what a meta-analysis is, that's basically what we call the granddaddy of studies. That's where you take 10, 20, 30, or even 100 different studies and look at all the different factors involved, try to look at multivariate analysis and determine some sort of conclusion and particularly find out why there's contradictions in the studies, figure out kind of what's going on by analyzing all the data together and looking at the various methodology and strength of the evidence in each one. And this was done quite some time ago and they realized then that saturated fat increases HDL cholesterol. And when it comes to your blood markers that are risk for heart attack or cardiovascular disease, there are several different factors going on. And we're learning more and more about this as technology progresses, medical science progresses. And the thing is, we universally agree that HDL is a good cholesterol, that it is helpful, that it is preventative of heart attacks. Now, the negative effects of LDL has been disputed back and forth, and it turns out there's multiple types of LDL. Now, that's more than I can really cover in the scope of this, but that's something I want to cover maybe at a later date for you guys. And then triglycerides are always considered to be a negative or bad cholesterol. Now, if you look at the, the second bit of research, the next one down below, you'll find that when different studies have been done that certain calories have been replaced with the diet from saturated fat to carbohydrates to uh, polyunsaturated fats, they found a general trend. When you change the saturated fat in your diet to polyunsaturated fat, your actual HDL to LDL ratio goes down, and that's a bad thing. You want your HDL high and arguably your LDL to be somewhat low again i'll dispute that fact at a later date but either way the ratio is critically important because you want your hdl to be high so the higher the ratio of hdl to ldl the better and the higher the hdl to triglycerides undisputed any cardiologist will tell you that a high hdl low triglyceride is indicative of low risk of cardiovascular disease and the reverse low hdl and high triglyceride means you're probably going to have a heart attack in the next couple of years so it changes the hdl to ldl for the worst though so that's a, a negative thing when we take the same calories for, that we took from the saturated fat for polyunsaturated and we shift it to carbohydrate the ratio of hdl to ldl stays the same but the HDL to triglyceride worsens. So when we look at that from a cardiovascular disease risk, that's just simply unacceptable. And again, I wish in that study that we had looked at the type of carbohydrate because honestly, not all carbohydrates are equal there. I don't want people to think that I'm bashing carbs or think, saying that carbs are evil because obviously if you're athletic, most athletes do really well on a high carb diet. A percentage don't, I personally, work better on a higher fat lower carb diet but that's me personally as an athlete for you that may not be true and actually for the majority of serious athletes that's that's simply not true i function better in a low carb environment with plenty of fat but so i'm not trying to be negative carbohydrate here for athletic people but when you look at the data that they have there it's probably more fructose based because we know that fructose tends to elevate triglycerides more than most other carbohydrates and so again whether whichever form of fructose it is can vary but processed fructose is going to be the worst and you know natural sugars uh, not as bad but they can still do it to a large extent it's about quantity it's still a, a quantitative uh, measure based upon your intake but that study is really telling of something it really shows you that uh, the high saturated fat in the diet 
and you replace it with other things doesn't always improve health markers and it actually seems to change health markers towards uh, the worst in terms of preventing cardiovascular disease. And then the final article is just a write-up discussing the topic uh, that's been uh, published in a medical journal for you guys to read. So for those who are interested, pour through today to look at it. And remember, saturated fat intake has absolutely unequivocally been linked with improving HDL cholesterol, which is generally a good thing. And I'm not saying it's the only factor, but it's a good thing. So for those interested, pour into the data, and I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.